the silent epidemic, missing and murdered indigenous women in North America. In North America, amidst the vast landscapes and bustling cities, a dark and deeply troubling crisis has silently taken hold. It's a crisis that affects indigenous communities in both the United States and Canada and is characterized by a disturbingly high number of missing and murdered indigenous women and girls, MIMMIG. This crisis demands our attention, reflection, and action. The scale of the crisis, the scale of the MIMMIG crisis is staggering. In both countries, indigenous women and girls are disproportionately affected by violence, with alarmingly high rates of murder and disappearance compared to the general population. Despite accounting for a small percentage of the population, they represent a significant portion of the missing and murdered. Root causes, understanding the root causes of this crisis is crucial for addressing it. Historical trauma, systemic racism, socioeconomic disparities, and the intersection of these factors all contribute. Indigenous communities have long struggled with the legacy of colonization and the erosion of their traditional ways of life. Government response, both the United States and Canada have made efforts to address the MIMMIG crisis, but progress has been slow, and critics argue that more needs to be done. In the US, the Missing and Murdered Indigenous Persons, MMIP, initiative was launched in 2019 to improve law enforcement's response to MIMMIG cases. However, advocates argue that more federal funding and support are necessary. In Canada, the National Inquiry into Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls issued a report in 2019 with a comprehensive set of recommendations. The Canadian government has taken steps to implement some of these recommendations, but progress has been criticized as inadequate. Community-led solutions, many indigenous communities are taking matters into their own hands. Grassroots movements, advocacy groups, and community organizations are working tirelessly to raise awareness, support victims' families, and address the underlying issues contributing to the crisis. Media's role, the media's role in bringing attention to this crisis cannot be understated. Documentaries, news articles, and social media campaigns have helped shed light on the MIMMIG crisis, giving voice to the voiceless and fostering greater public awareness. The way forward, addressing the MIMMIG crisis requires a multifaceted approach. 1. Policy reform. Governments must commit to concrete actions and reforms based on the recommendations put forward by indigenous communities and the affected families. 2. Cultural revival, supporting indigenous languages, cultures, and traditions is essential for healing and resilience. 3. Community empowerment, providing resources and support for community-led initiatives is crucial for addressing the crisis at its roots. 4. Education and awareness, ongoing education and awareness campaigns can help challenge stereotypes and combat racism. 5. Support for victims' families, Families who have lost loved ones need access to culturally appropriate support services. Conclusion, the MIMMIG crisis in North America is a painful reminder of the enduring impact of colonization and systemic racism. While steps have been taken by governments, much work remains. It is incumbent upon all citizens to advocate for justice, healing, and a safer future for indigenous women and girls. Only through concerted efforts and a commitment to change can we hope to put an end to this silent epidemic.